Hello, Greebos, and welcome back to downloadable content. And what? Hello? Do you guys hear that? Hmm. It must be Monday because it is Mod, Mod Showcase, Showcase Monday. Today, I'm bringing you about seven <laughs> fantabulosi clickbait titley awesome mods for the PC version of Blade and Sorcery. You are literally not going to want to miss it. And listen. If you haven't already, please, 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 go ahead and follow me on Twitch. Link is in the description. You don't want to get sacrificed. Also, if you have Twitch and already have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to me for free. It's free. Just do it. It's free, okay? Just go ahead and do it. <coughs> anyway, here's some mods. Our first mod on today's list is one that has quickly become, honestly, one of my top favorite mods and it's for good reason it is a sheathable longsword by darkling bird now this sheathable longsword uses a framework as a requirement so you have to have the sheathable framework requirement so go download that right now it's by huge honor go get it go go do it first get this door out of my way oh the sheathable longsword so good here it is you'll find it in the normal sword category and there's the sheath and there's the longsword. Now, in Blade and Sorcery prior, you would just pull it right out and it almost has like a weird animation. Well, this now, you grab it and you could literally, look, ooh, 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 pull it out of its scabbard, also known as a sheath. And just, you can even be like, oh, I don't want to pull it out that much. It's just so good. Now, you can also twist it a little bit while it's in there just because, you know, it's VR. So, just don't do that. But anyway, ugh. Excellent, and you can resheath it. Ooh, oh, it's so good. Now you might be wondering why I'm making all these noises. It's because I cannot control myself. You can even, when it's on your person, unsheath it, and if you're good enough, get get, get resheath it. <laughs> but of course, how does it hold up against murder? Well, good question there, Ricky. Let's pull out the sword and let's stab it in your gut. Oh, it handles quite well. And the even greater part is that blood already paints on it. Which is fantastic when a Ricky looks at you the wrong way. Ah! So make sure you have this sheathable longsword. Up next, we have the Ultra Violence Audio Overhaul by Magma Cal. This one has become a mod. I didn't think that, you know, I thought I was going to install it. And then that was, I'd use it once or twice and be like, this is obnoxious, let's move on. But this one adds so much visceral, like, ooh, audio ambiance. That is, it's, it's awesome. It's so fantastic. There's only one thing, and some people can live or live without it. I'll just let you know that sometimes, a lot of the times, the audio tends to, like, loop when a sword is stuck in one of the NPCs. So if you can't deal with that one, then I just don't get the mod. But you'll be missing out, so... Just a special warning. Man, I've done so much killing, but I wish, I wish there was a way that it could sound better. Maybe there is. Maybe somewhere there's an ultra-violent audio pack. I will create a Ricky now to find out. That's a nice hat you got there. I just, let's just poke you. All right, so the, the poking is the same. Still the same poking sound, but the real feature is the stabbing sound. So just take a nice listen. Ugh! Oh yeah. Oh, that sounded so good. What about deep into the sternum? Ugh. Oh, listen to it. The pain he must be in as the blood leaks from his body. So the ultraviolet audio really spices things up. The sound is just so good to me. Ugh, I almost can't play without it. Eh. Yeah! Oh, you guys hear what I'm talking about? The only downside is that it can loop from time to time. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah. So, because the damagers are always on, it seems like it's always playing. So, it can get annoying if you're just like trying to, you know, sit next to him and, and do the, the thing you know if you're trying to style on an npc like it's it's gonna be obnoxious and the only way to make it stop is by pulling out the offending sound thing now for me that's not really a huge deal i'll, I'll either walk away when it's in the dungeon or pull the weapon out but 
Some people can be sticklers, so I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew about it. Up next is a spell, and an awesome spell, mind you. It is Fireball Up by Nishka. It's a normal looking fireball. It's a new spell. But after you cast it, well, let's just say the NPCs can't escape. In your spell wheel, if you're like me, you're gonna have tons of stuff. So right now I have three different fireballs. So this one is called Fireball Up. So I would recommend you getting spell wheel enhancer so you don't get confused. But it's this one here. And in my left hand, I'll select normal fire. So this is normal fire. Badoop! Normal fire. This is fireball up. Badoop! Oh, oh, look at that. It almost does the staff thing. But why is that impressive? Well, one, it just is. And two, you see that Ricky way down over there? Well, fireball up. And this one will cast about here and it will not track him. Hey, Ricky, why didn't you get hit by that fireball? You're making me look dumb. Come on. You know I don't like looking dumb in these showcases. Now let's see if it works. If he's hostile, it should track him. There we go. Burnt. Let's get a couple more Rickies. And let's hit him from the back. Get him, Fireball. <laughs> it will track as many as it can, which is fantastic. And also, if you hit them dead on, oh, it's a lot of fire. I love it. It's cool. And don't forget, you can control fireballs and move them like right down here. This is a great utility for sure if you're surrounded or if you're just looking to have fun and you're a fan of all this sorcery, then, well, I strongly recommend getting Fireball Up. Up next is an all-powerful mod. Seriously, it is the most powerful mod I've ever seen in my entire life. It is a toaster with bread by Zeus. Oh yeah, you can eat the bread, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, you can also beat people with it too, I guess. Our penultimate entry on today's list is The Hitman by Lumiere. This one is more about custom armors in a custom avatar which i appreciate more because the armors are the better way to go because you have better collision and you know the hands don't look cursed so i don't have a gun installed but you can get where i'm coming from so for the hitman you're gonna want to go into your exotic category suit jacket equip pants equip and your boots equip and now, oh, check me out. Just look at the nice tailored suit. I'm not bald, so I guess if I was bald, I could really be Agent 47, but <laughs> this is pretty cool in and of itself. It's awesome. I love the tie that you get with it. It looks sick. And you can let your imagination run wild while using this one. So get a gun and become everyone's favorite assassin. Our final mod on today's list is the Archer's Arsenal by Hawkloon. This one comes with a new bow and new cycling quivers with a bunch, bunch of arrow types. So if you are an archer, get this floating thing out of my face. If you are an archer, then well, you're going to need this. Going into the bow category, you're going to get yourself a couple of awesome things. For starters, let's just go ahead and grab the normal bow. And now let's get the cycle quiver and put that on our back. So now we have ourselves a bow and quiver. So now that we have a bow, when we go ahead and pull an arrow out of our quiver with the normal one, it's gonna take out whatever is selected. So this one looks like a nice fire arrow. But what happens when I want to take a different one? Well, what you're gonna do is hold the bow in this hand and tap the spell use button, then grab another arrow and that will change to the different arrow type. So I fired that one, tap spell use, Grab a new arrow. Oh, and look at this one. Tap, grab a new one. Oh, this one looks sick. Now a really cool arrow is this one right here. This is like a grapple arrow. So I can go ahead and fire that all the way over there, mix a line, and then I can hold um, the trigger to kind of pull myself in while jumping. <laughs> Pretty sick, right? And then maybe get another one, fire that. Oh, I missed it. And then you just let go of the bow and re-grab it to kind of do it again. Let's try this arrow. That one, I don't know what this arrow does. Oh, it's another rope one. Now we try this one. Oh God. Now I think this is ice. Yeah, the ice arrow is sick. Oh, that's sick. I gotta see that again in extra pain slow motion. Yeah, Frozo the, well that is. 
That's kind of cursed. And then, I don't know what this one is. Let's try it. Nope. Did it, hello? I don't know what that just did. It looked powerful. What? It bounces off of him? Is it just a one shot? Yeah, oh, interesting. Now let's try this one. This is supposed to be the light arrow, I think. This one might be one of my favorite ones. Let's see if it is. Yeah! Oh no, that's the lightning arrow. <laughs> I think that's it. Let's try this one. Is this my favorite one? Oh, yeah, 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 that's the one I was talking about. That's the light one. That one is my favorite one. It's like I'm firing almost like a holy arrow. He's like, oh, you hit me with a holy arrow. That sucks to be me. And then, of course, our explosive tip buddy. Boom! Oh, this is just like seeks him out. So this is the hunter's arsenal. I recommend it. It's awesome. You could do so many things. Look at that. I created a grapple point from him to him. How sick is that? So if you don't already have this, get it. Well, Greenbows, that is it for this week's Mod Showcase Monday. I hope you had a ton of fun, and more importantly, I hope you download these mods because they're awesome. They're all linked in the description. And speaking of the description, go ahead and click on the little Twitch thing and follow me right there. That is, once again, another warning slash reminder to go ahead and get that done. And if you're new to downloadable content, why not consider subscribing? It's free. All you have to do is... Click the little button down below, join up, and I will greatly appreciate it. Special thanks and shout out to my patrons listed right here on screen. Thanks for supporting your local lunatic like me, so I can continue to make weird VR content. To everyone else, thank you so much for stopping by. But other than that, I am Rob from Downloadable Content, and I will see you in the next video.